Hello guys. So today in this video, we are going to talk about a very, very interesting topic. So we are going to talk about X crow parts. Okay. So let me introduce uh, a bit about what crow path is and how does it work. So crow path is a dev tool which is being developed by Sanjay Kumar. Okay. So uh, how, how does crow path help us? Okay. So a very basic thing in Selenium scripting doesn't matter we are doing page factory we are doing cucumber we are doing basic we are doing complex doesn't matter at all something which is very basic is experts right we do need the locators for each and every element to in order to deal or in order to interact with them correct so that's where crow path comes into picture okay so now you must be wondering that there are so many other tools in the market right through which we can get the x pass and also like even the chrome itself like if we open the chrome dev tool and uh, try to find x path there we do get it right so how does crow path like play a different role there how does crow path help us more why should we go with crow path so all of your questions will be answered in this particular video and guys trust me this is really really helpful so be with me for this video okay so uh, before showing its usages i'll first uh, tell you how can we install it so Cropan as a name indicates we get a feeling that it is only for chrome and yes it was initially developed only for chrome but right now we have got this extension both for chrome and firefox okay so before we had firepath for firefox right but with the latest versions of firefox you won't get the firepath extension there okay so you can use cropath for both chrome browser as well as your firefox browser okay so let me now quickly show you how can you add this particular extension to your browser okay so i'll navigate to my chrome now okay guys so here am i in my chrome browser i have written add crow path to chrome okay so just navigate to chrome browser and write add crow path to chrome you'll get the first link for from chrome.google.com sorry <laughs> from chrome.google.com okay so here we can click on it okay so i'm getting an option remove from chrome because i already have it installed okay so you see this particular extension here this is the crow path extension okay so right so as i clicked on it it will be showing me the different uh, like instructions for how can I use it okay so by default you won't have it so you can just come here you will get an option here saying add to chrome just click on it restart your browser and you're good to go okay okay now let's start using it so what I'm going to do is I'll navigate to its developers website okay okay so here we are this autonomic crow path okay let me go in here okay so we have our crow path website open okay so this is the official site for crow path okay so i'll just open my dev tool so i'll press f12 okay guys so i have my dev tool open right now here as soon as you open it so here like you see here guys we have an extension for crow path right so so you'll be seeing this crow path extension right here let me click on it okay now let me quickly talk about this components okay i'll talk about this in a while this is showing me the version these are the various attributes with which you are going to get your experts okay so for a particular element these particular attributes should be considered that like you will get various experts based on all of these attributes okay now if you want that no i don't want my expert to be generated using class so you can just uncheck it okay so moving forward whenever you inspect your expert won't be generated taking the class okay and 
if there is some specific attribute in your particular application and you want your exports to be generated using that attribute you can also specify your attribute name here okay so our exports would also consider that particular attribute in addition to these one okay so let's let's now talk about it a bit so let me inspect this particular products okay so see here guys we have got these particular experts so i've got its absolute expert i've got its expert using partial link text i've got its expert using link text and i've also got its relative expert right okay now here you see i'm um, what is saying is id looks dynamic uncheck the id checkbox or delete the id attribute from attribute box to generate relative expert without id of it okay so it is also showing saying you okay before that green says it's one matching node this orange yellow whatever color you say it says that this has got if you use this particular expert it has got multiple matching nodes okay so you see it's written two it means it has got two matching nodes now this one shows one but then there is an exclamation symbol here so what does it say that this id looks dynamic so it can change next time when you refresh your browser okay so this is not considered healthy this is not considered reliable okay so what it's saying see it's also giving you a suggestion what is it saying is uncheck the id checkbox or delete the id attribute to generate relative expert without id okay so let us follow the instructions i'll uncheck the id thing okay i will again inspect this products okay and now i'm getting it using my class name okay but then again this says that okay no even the class looks dynamic okay so let us do one thing i have unchecked the class also okay so it's now giving me the xpath in this particular format okay so this is the beauty of crow path now another thing this is one thing right so you can directly this is the copy thing you can just copy it from here and paste it in your eclipse okay or you can copy it from here like click to copy relative expert click to copy link text click to copy partial link text and so on okay now guys consider you are automating this particular page right so you will need expert for all of these elements correct so ideally what we would do we would keep taking the expert for this then this and this and this and so on right so what can we do is we have got an option here saying click to generate automation code or multiple experts so just click on here okay and then say i say products okay so i see here it has given me the label name products and also i'm getting my expert saying driver dot find element by dot expert this particular thing right similarly what i can do is i can click on features i can then click on resources and so on right so you can just keep clicking on inspect elements one by one and you will get all of its expert in one single line right here okay now your next question could be but i'll have to modify this right because i don't want this driver or find element or i do write it in page factory pattern saying at the rate find by annotation and everything okay so that's going to add my efforts we groupan have even got a solution to that okay so i've got a option here saying set driver command to append on selectors let me click on that so right now it says driver dot find element by dot x path right therefore you are getting a value in this particular pattern let's write here add the rate find by that's what you write correct where x path is equal to uh this is mandatory that you have to write x path 
value you have to write it in this particular format okay and then you say private web element sorry label value okay so as soon as i clicked on enter you see here guys it has got changed in this particular pattern okay next what you can do i can simply like inspect everything so you can copy all of them from here so you see the option click to copy all the experts right so let's click here go to eclipse and paste it here so see guys how how does it get it printed right so you can like inspect everything in the page and get it printed here really this quick okay just step in the semicolon okay which which you would require to do okay and and that's all it's as easy as that okay now another question that may also arise in your mind is okay say you want to create your own expert okay i don't want any expert that is being created by cropath and you want your own expert okay so how does cropath help you maintaining your experts or validating if you are creating the right expert or not okay so let me answer you that now let's expand it a bit so that it help us with the visibility okay now let's check this okay it says you this is an anchor tag with having text as products correct now what would you do you'd press control f here to open this xpath search box right and i want to write that having an anchor tag with a text as products so you write anchor tag okay so as soon as you write anchor tag what it does or what the typical chrome developers tool does is it will show that okay i have 413 elements of this correct and it will take you to the first matching node of that particular tag so as you keep writing you can't keep seeing the attributes at the same time and they that makes difficult for you to write expert right for example i had to see that products text right now but as it has navigated to the first node i can't see it so what i'll have to do i'll have to again click on inspect and i'll have to again go to this products thing so that i can see it again right again i okay so again i'll have to start writing and then i'll write text is equal to something right and then as soon as i write this again it navigates it me somewhere okay and then again i need to do this in order to come here correct so and then again i write products and then finally i get to say that okay i have got this particular element with my matching node correct so how does cropa helps me here let's do the same operation here okay so in cropa i have my i have inspected my particular element and i write okay so did your dev tool scroll up or down no i can still see my locator i can still see my element in the html dom as it is so it's not going to trouble me in any way right so i can write my entire xpath here xpath is equal to products right and let me press enter so it is showing me that okay there were two elements matching for it okay and now let me quickly close this i can stop recording i don't want to do it anymore okay and let me just say enter okay so you see here guys i've being say that okay i've got two anchor tags here so it's going to show me that okay this is one anchor tag having your expert like the matching expert for what i have written here and this is the 
second one okay so if i inspect on first you see this products thing is changing to red and when i scroll on the second one it's changing to green it means the first one is my like what i want to say i want to get this particular products right so which one is this this is the first one correct if i expand this you would be able to see its internal xpath its internal html dome as well right so let me say enter so you see this particular element there okay so even tomorrow if you have to create some parent child relationships xpath or you have to create some xpath of your own you can you can like very nicely do it okay with the help of this particular selectors box okay just write your xpath here because that won't scroll the uh, scroll the dome up and down and that would give you a good visibility of your html and you can like just create your xpath as you want so you have got the option using cropa to use the existing uh, to use the existing elements or use the existing locators or you can also create your own very easily so it's a great great time saver right okay okay now let me talk about one more very interesting feature of this group path okay i'm talking about this group path studio so see there's an icon here which says click to open group path studio right so let me click on this okay you see this particular box here now let me minimize it i'll tell you just one thing it's in recording mode right now okay so guys uh, say you have to create some test case which is actually causing a test case failure so you want to report that bug to your particular manager to your developer or someone else okay so what do we do typically we uh, do navigate to all that scenarios and everything and then whatever scenarios we have followed we do mention all of those in a excel right and then we copy that excel and send to our development team that okay these are the steps which i have followed but then first thing this requires a lot of efforts right i mean navigating everything and then writing everything to the excel that means a lot of efforts first thing second thing there is a probability maybe that you have missed something okay anything which are human efforts there is a possibility that maybe a very slightest of thing that is missed and maybe that would be the point where the scenario was to be reproduced okay so cropa do help us with that let's see how okay so i've opened this cropa studio right let me now minimize it i don't need it anyway now okay i also close this cropa tool i don't need it let me do something i'll go to this features tab okay so i'll go to this parallel testing okay then i would go to resources libraries okay you see here guys i'm getting some notifications click on library click on parallel testing right let me go to about team okay so we see here the photo of this developer sanjay kumar right <laughs> okay so moving back to products test case creation let's go there okay that's all okay so let's see what what that is what has it done okay let me open my group at studio here am i right let me expand this and let me pause this okay so what is it saying open the website autonomic this it has taken by its own it's as smart as that we have clicked on features after that we did click on parallel testing we did click on library we did click on team and then we did click on test case creation okay so whatever steps you have performed it has transformed it into a very simple english language it has also put the data thing there and you are good to go if you want to edit something or delete something you can just delete it from here that okay no add this a uh, particular click operation you had maybe performed by mistake and you don't want it here just delete it out okay and then you can save your test case 
okay and your test case would be saved so here you okay here you see your first test case dot csv let me open it so you see here guys let me okay perfect so you see here how it works right so you have got all your steps here you can just send this particular excel or you can copy it right from here as it is and go back to your uh, maybe jira or your emails or wherever you want to log it and you can simply do it there okay this is the beauty of growpath these are the various things that you can achieve using growpath and one very quick thing Growpath do help you with getting your elements from iframe. It also supports SVG elements. So any type of elements, any particular website, dynamic, relative, any particular type of locators and Growpath is a tool for you. Okay, guys, I would highly encourage you to use this particular tool. It's going to save you a lot of time for your manual testing, for your automation testing, both. Okay. Why automation? Because XPath is a basic thing for us. All of us know. So, Crowpath is going to help you with that particular uh, finding, getting the locators and for manual testing also, because you can just record all your steps, save your test case. It gets saved in this particular format and you can simply copy it and give it to your development team you don't need to write everything in excel again okay so that's all for this video guys i hope we have been able uh, to get a good insight on this particular tool and do let me know for any questions in the comment section thank you guys have a great day bye bye